Today's horoscope and tarot reading from Astro Academy, Aries March 15, 2022. Both Mars and Venus meet with Pluto in your resources sector today, and there can be intensity revolving around a money matter or question of values. You may need to make a decision or a significant change. The emphasis should be on turning a situation around and knocking something down then rebuilding may be the ticket. Business matters can benefit as you have a real sense of what truly matters, and you're better at parting with those things you no longer need. You may very well discover a whole lot about yourself and your fears today. Ideally, you're getting over a hump related to money, time, ownership, or respect. With more willingness to seek and face the truth, you can get to a place where you're ready to make meaningful changes. Greed will take you nowhere, but by that same token, it's important to express gratitude for the people, places, and things you value. If you're in your feels, it's all thanks to the moon in Pisces, as it will illuminate your emotionally driven fourth house of home, family matters, and innermost feelings, so take some time to regroup. However, Venus' close proximity to smoldering Pluto in Capricorn via your second house of comfort, finances and value systems will continue to shed light on themes surrounding your self-worth and sense of security, which means you've got some thinking to do. Do you and your person share similar principles? It could be a somewhat restless day ahead. The moon has left fixed Aquarius for mutable Pisces, which now squares your sign. As this lunation and square unfold, you may find that it is difficult to stay on task. Magical Luna is busy daydreaming, calling your attention away from work and to nonsensical matters. As a result, you may find that you are not as productive as usual. To stay on top of your objectives, you should work on your creative projects so that you can use imaginative lunation as an asset. While there is a huge amount of energy on the income front now and that was the case even before a rare triple alignment between Venus, Mars and Pluto peaked yesterday that is about to change. Venus and Mars, the planets of money and war are just two days away from leaving, after which Pluto will stay on to keep the momentum going. This makes the next 48 hours pivotal when it comes to fighting for what you deserve. Go ahead and push your luck today. It's not getting any better than this. No matter what game you're playing, you're sure to win. Think big, overseas travel, romance, long-awaited conversations, long-shot bets, and the like. With today's astral energies at play, you may feel extra sensitive. If you don't know what you think or feel, perhaps you could take some time to yourself and do something relaxing. Take your mind off the job, the kids, the spouse, the boss, and spend some time getting distracted in a healthy way. Definitely exercise, definitely drink a lot of water. The balancing act of separating what you want from what others want will be easier if you give yourself some extra room. If there's something you need to get off of your chest this day's expressive energy can help. A day encourages communication and creativity, lending much support to saying what you need to. Consider trying alternative forms of expression if you feel the spoken word falls short. A letter may be the perfect way to collect your thoughts and speak without being interrupted along the way. Tokens and symbols can also be very effective, depending on the circumstances. Allow your imagination to take hold and help you discover the best means. Before leaving your financial sector today the moon will clash with Pluto, the planet of change and revolution in your income sector. This brings you back to a familiar and fleeting clash that has happened every four weeks since the planet of change and revolution returned to your income sector in 2008 but for the first time in four months, while both sides are evenly matched. This might create some financial tension but while fleeting this can energize both sides of the financial fence. Just a week before the sun's return to your romantic sector will kick off the most romantically charged months of 2022, the moon returns for its monthly visit to an adventurous part of your chart. This is something that once every four weeks will see the moon form a friendly aspect to the planets already in your romantic sector, bringing the spirit of romance and adventure together. Seven days before the sun's return this is a chance to ignite the romantic flame.
Your tarot reading for today. The world, the emperor, and the empress. The next few weeks promise to be extremely rewarding. Especially on a personal level, the cards show a succession of events that are as favorable as they are unexpected. The combination of the three cards you selected shows that the challenges you face today will gradually dissipate, and you will finally take control of your life. While it is true that, for the moment, the situation appears somewhat complicated on your side, the cards show the return of a loved one in your life. The cards evoke a lot of potential and numerous opportunities for you. These happy events are associated with a particularly favorable period during which you could finally achieve what you value most. I know you're having troubles and I am aware of your doubts and your fears, but the three cards you have chosen represent a real opportunity for the future. Don't you know that the tarot cards never lie? There is always symbolism, always a message, and I think today that it is in your favor. And while we are talking about this, do you believe in fate? The cards are highlighting signals that connect your life path to that of a man, someone a little older than you, and who should play a major role in your life. Do you know who it is? He is a sensitive person who has stayed in the background for a long time because he is shy and afraid of being disappointed. The cards are evoking a lot of interactions with this man during the month of March 2022. You'll understand that the moments of happiness mentioned in your draw could be shared with him. Our eyes in the sky. You have the morning hours to enjoy the last few drops of Taurus lunar energy, so if you can afford to relax and pamper yourself, that kind of time will be the most enjoyable. If you're working from home, homeschooling your kids, or acting as caregiver to a family member, you'll have to get creative with your alone time. It can be done. No matter what your quarantine circumstances are, you deserve at least a few minutes to yourself to take a long shower or bath, style your hair your beard, take your time putting on makeup and choosing your favorite, flattering outfit. While all this might seem a bit self-indulgent, look at it this way, the happier you are, the happier you can make others. The moon sextals the sun early in the afternoon, giving you a much-needed feeling of balance and harmony. While the people around you might be reeling from something they hear on the news or read on social media, you're able to stay calm. You can see both sides of most stories now, and because of this fair-minded perspective, you see no need to panic. Things always work out in the end, don't they? The moon drifts away from steady Taurus and into alert Gemini late in the afternoon, increasing your mental power and giving you all kinds of interesting ideas. If you have a creative job, this is a great time to write down your thoughts so you can share them later with your boss slash client slash business partner, etc. You have lots of fun little verbal exchange now, and you're able to make a great impression on someone you've been trying hard to impress.